Hello, it's Mark Matosh, Chief from Markham 3D, and today I'm going to show you how to use the mist pass when rendering your scene. Up here in the compositor, I've got the mist already enabled. If you don't have that enabled, you need to come over here into the rendered layers and enable the mist pass. Now you have to re render this image for this to work, or you'll just get a black screen. From here, what I'm going to do is grab from mist and put that into the viewer node, and we can see that depth of field coming through. Now we want to be able to control that. So I'm going to do shift A and add in a color ramp. And now by moving the black and white backwards and forwards, I can change the depth of how much fog will be appearing. I can also change the white and bring this all the way back down to gray. And let's just, and now I want to join all this information that I've already got. So I'm going to do shift A search and we'll just type in the mix and plug out the rest of our nodes in. Nothing really happens. That's because my factor is set at one. Let's change that. Uh, let's change mix into add. And then we've got it. Now we've got that depth of field. So I can bring this all the way back on the color ramp. If I can even bring this up to white and it really blows it out. So you really get that foggy come through. In it. If you enjoyed this little short tip, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Keeps you up to date with any content that I release.